So, yeah, I mean, the reason for this call is, you know, Scott was just like, hey, John Carter Beauty has been getting a lot of uh, good leads off of the emails that we've been sending out. We should probably do a success <laughs> story with him. And I was like, great. I always enjoy talking yeah. to John. So. <laughs> yeah, what I do is, uh, you know, when the videos go out and, like, I'll get a response, like, I'll respond right away to uh, their response. And then I'll always, like, blind carbon copy Scott. And Scott always yeah. sends me, like, you know. It's funny. I like it. It's cute. <laughs> yeah. That, no, I mean, we love seeing those, um, you know, especially direct results like that. It's it's always yeah. just great to see. So yeah. can you kind of share, like, you know, specifically the last few that you've had here in the last couple months? You know, like what happened? Yeah. Um, the video that just got sent out last week was probably one of the better videos. And I it was actually one of the more responsive videos that I've had and I think it's because I changed it up and like instead of doing it in front of that boring whiteboard for like the last 12 months in a row mm -hmm. <laughs> I I went on location and I did my market update report like outside with like the colors of the leaves changing in New England yep. fall weather and it was just nicer you know and it was like I, I could tell like it was I, I think it was more warm and inviting so I think that was like I, I think that probably had like a little bit to do with it but um, the last video email that I sent out, I got three responses within that first 60 minutes. And one of them was saying, um, was asking me um, if I cover a certain area. And I said, heck, yeah, that's my backyard. I cover that area. And then they sent me a response back to more specifically, do you cover this complex? And I said, I do. And I said, are you looking to buy or sell? And they said, I'm looking to buy. I said, well, then I'm going to put my, um, you know, my buyer specialist, Amanda Zorovich, in touch with you, have her give you a call with the best number to reach you got their phone number, I put them in touch. Haven't sold them anything yet, but I do believe Amanda's actually taking them out this weekend. Okay. If anything, if anything with the video, it, it, it really gives us some good opportunities oh, to get yeah. in front of yeah. these people first. Yeah, for sure. So, have you guys been using that open and click report to follow up with those people too, that open and click on the specific things in the emails? I probably should be, okay. and it's something I intend to be, and I want to be completely honest with you. Is yeah. That I'm so understaffed right now, and I have so much business coming at me. What's happened is, and it's not that I don't need to make those outgoing calls, and we do. I have two full-time ISAs who make outgoing calls. Mm -hmm. But they're so busy following up with the Boomtown leads and the Internet leads, and, and also what's happening is they're getting so busy just following up with the inquiries that are coming into us. So it, it, it seems like after being, you know, having our video blog for two and a half, three years, I think we're on over three years now with you guys. Probably. And what happened is it's like kind of law of attraction where like yeah. we're attracting like the right kind of business and our kind of like our ideal clients now. Perfect. So it's like the business that is coming to us is like, heck, this is great. We're getting a lot of now business. We're getting a lot of come list me leads. List me seller leads. We're getting a lot of come sell me buyer leads, or I'm ready now buyer leads. And not only that, they're kind of they're in the price range that we want to work with, and they're our, our ideal clients. Well, these sound like all very good problems to have. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> John, like I said before, yeah. it's not perfect. <laughs> By yeah. any means, it's not perfect. Like anybody else, we've got our own set of problems and challenges, but we're definitely in this like real growth mode right now, and I'm I want to be. I'm excited about it. I just want to be very cautious how quickly I want to have like measured growth. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't want like this explosion of growth where I take on like a hundred agents and yeah. then I have to fire and then I have to fire half of them. Yeah, that would not be fun. Um, yeah. So you know, like you said, you've been a client for three years. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't have been if you weren't seeing results. So kind of, how do you measure your results in your ROI with virals? That's a good question. That's a really good question. I think it's difficult to measure it just by the numbers mm -hmm. because a, a lot of these people have been in our database for the whole three years or two years or two and a half years and they've been there for a long time and and it's, it's very difficult to like pinpoint exactly whether like the video was the deciding factor in getting them to choose us or decide to work with us but I know that the video I know that I don't need to ask them I know that the video was a big part of staying in front of us when they ultimately made that decision to go with us. Perfect. So video is different. Like, you guys are different. Like, you, it, 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 it's not like my other, like, okay, 
okay, how many seller leads, how many buyer leads did I get this month? Where did they come from? How much money am I spending? Is it worth it to continue spending money on it? The video is different because everybody's on the video and we're hitting, the video has completed our market texture kind of like I said before in the past. It's, it's just kind of closed that whole circle. And even just having the video blog to follow up with people or to follow up with expired listings and saying, hey, listen, go to my video blog and take a look at what other people and look at some of my video testimonials of other people. That's very, very powerful with those people. Well, that's great to hear. So why did you hire Viral Marketing to start with? And you might have to go back a little bit on this one. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I hired Viral Marketing to help me implement video, period. I had wanted to get into video and I was hesitant. I didn't know how to make the videos. I didn't know how to edit the videos. I didn't know anything about video. Video scared me. <laughs> I didn't want to. Video scares a lot of people. I, was, I didn't want to put myself in front of a video. Yeah. But then I realized one day I realized it's not whether I want to do this. I have to do this. And nobody else in my marketplace was doing it at the time, the video. So I, I realized that if I started doing it at a huge competitive advantage, which I still have now three years later to this day, because um, surprisingly so, most of my direct oh, yeah. competitors are not using the video stuff. But that's really why I decided to go with viral marketing in the beginning because I figured, okay, you know what? I'm not good at this and I'm not an expert at this. I better hire somebody that is good and an expert and that could teach me. And then, you know, I remember in the beginning, I mean, those videos were horrendous that I was making. <laughs> they were terrible. And the audio was terrible. But as, you know, there's a learning curve like anything else. So as time goes on and the, the more you do them, the better you get at it. And then you're like, oh, yeah, if I do this, Okay, so it'll be a little bit better. If I go buy an external mic, it'll be a little bit better. And it got to the point where we were able to outsource all of our video to um, a professional videographer who actually does the video for us. Yeah, and um, he's doing a great job, too, by the way. He is doing a really great job. He really does. And um, he's, uh, he's a great guy, and he's extremely loyal to me. And I've had, a lot of, I've had a lot of my broker friends ask me for his name and number, and I just, I'm keeping it close to my vest. I won't give it up. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And you, you did such a good job of answering that question. You answered my next two. Uh, you know, why okay. hire us instead of doing it yourself? And you just said you didn't really know too much about that. And any other fears besides just kind of being on video before you signed up? You know, like I said before, no one spent more money on things that didn't work than me. So, you know, I was going into it a little bit skeptical. And I didn't want to have too many expectations like I've had in the past and be disappointed. So I think I went into the video with a lot of, with a lower amount of expectations and then I was pleasantly surprised and I was like wow this is great and then you know it was like I said in the past it was refreshing to work with a company like viral marketing that actually does what they say they're going to do and they get the job done and they're accessible and you know they're a regular bunch of people that are very good at what they do and they're not trying to do 20 different things very well. They do one thing very well, and that's manage databases and marketing and the video. And it's like, I was pleasantly surprised. And you guys, the one thing about viral marketing is that they've always been consistent. So, you know, you've always had a consistent level of superior customer service. You always get back to me. You know, if something's not working, we change it up and we make it right and we try to figure out why it's not working. And that's what I love about the company. That's what I love about Frank. And that's what I love about you guys. Again, it's refreshing to work with a company that does what they say they're going to do. So what would you say to someone on the fence about hiring us? I would say just do it. I mean, you know, you're not signing a year contract. You're month to month. You can't just do it for a, a, you can't just do it for a month or two and expect a result either, by the way. But, you know, if, if, if between what you signed up for and what you get with viral marketing are two different things, then you move on to the next one. But I think you, I think you're selling yourself short. I think you have to have a little bit of faith and just kind of jump on board. And if you do this, though, you can't do it halfway. If you do it, you got to follow the system and you got to follow exactly what viral marketing is doing. Because that's what I did. I made up my mind and said, okay, if I'm going to do this and spend the money, I'm going to do exactly what they say to do. So if they tell me to do this, I'm going to do this. If they tell me to do that, I'm going to do that. And then if I don't have a result from doing exactly what they told me to do, then I can hold them accountable. But if I'm not doing what they're telling me to do and then I don't get a result and it, it, it doesn't meet my expectations, then the only person I got to blame is myself. Any other tips that you, you know, could offer to someone to be successful at this? I mean, following the system, 
doing what we say. I like to hear those things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anything else? Uh, yeah, I mean, just leverage it. I mean, if you're going to do the video, leverage it with everything you do. I mean, shout it from the rooftop that you do this. I mean, you could, I, we use it with expired listings and we use it on our listing presentations. I mean, just having the viral marketing video blog when I go on a listing presentation with an iPod, it, iPad is very powerful. Very, very powerful. You, you can leverage your video blog in so many different aspects. It's not even funny. I mean, I have two video blogs with viral marketing. I have um, an agent training blog where I actually record, um, I, I videotape different tips on how to increase your business. And then I also have a regular real estate blog for myself at johnsoncarbeauty.com. So I could, as a broker, I could leverage both of those video blogs in many different aspects. I'm the last person that would ever be with a company for over three years if I wasn't pleased with them. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I've had a tendency to fire companies on a whim because they weren't. Um, or, or they start off really great, and then like after that two or three months, they kind of um, they don't live up to those expectations anymore. But there's a reason why I'm with Viral Marketing for over three years, and I haven't quit the company because they're they're a solid rock. They're they're a rock solid company that is they're on the cutting edge, and they're they're always coming up with new things, and they're always giving me new tips and advice and, and social media and and testimonials and getting testimonials from my clients and leveraging those testimonials. It's a great company. It's really all I have to say. Really all I have to say.